A lot of people who don't have a car and need to get around this winter are calling a cab. The problem is there aren't enough taxis here in Buffalo to go around, but now the city stepping in to help. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jason Grenauer live at our ice desk tonight with more on this. Yeah, Joanna, as those temps drop, the call numbers go up to local taxi cab companies. And the biggest fleet here in Buffalo and Western New York is even having some trouble keeping up. So they called on City Hall to allow more cabs on the road, and they listened. We just can't cover the calls. Between the snow, the cold, and the wind, a harsh winter has more than doubled the demand for local cabs. Thank you. We'll go on the right cabs. Cabs. Yes, thank you. Normally, let's say we were doing uh, uh, 2,000 calls a day. Now we're over at 5,000 calls a day. Thank you for calling Liberty. My name is Alicia. How can you be? And Liberty Cab's 270 taxis are having trouble handling it. Now there's anywhere from an hour and a half to two hour wait. In many cases, the customer's not there anymore, so it frustrates the driver. And when he gets three or four of those, uh, he'll go home. And that impacts those who need transportation to hospitals, doctor's appointments, the airport, and more. So they made a request to Buffalo City Hall. We need more cabs. Issue the permits. Enter Joseph Golumbach, common council member and chair of the taxi cab subcommittee. We've put in a proposal to add 25 liveries and 25 taxis for the city of Buffalo. That increase is mainly due to increased tourism, but will also help with the higher demand as a result of the weather. I look at that as a good thing. Uh, if you have a city that needs more taxis and more taxi cabs, uh, you know, that's great. That means you have more people uh, visiting and driving around and going to places. And it's on a fairly fast track. Columbeck expects that proposal to be finished, approved by the Common Council, and signed by the mayor sooner than later. It could be a matter of like a week and a half before it's all up and, and done. And this isn't necessarily the end of expansion of taxis and cabs here in Buffalo. The Common Councilman says the more tourism Buffalo continues to see, the more hotel rooms and the potential of a Bills Stadium downtown could mean even more cabs on the road here in the Queen City. Reporting live tonight, Jason Grenauer, 7 Eyewitness News.